everyone i am narendra in this video we will try to learn about what is the difference between conductors semiconductors and insulators you know conductors means that conduct electricity most of the metals like aluminum gold silver and copper that conduct electricity you know in our home we use this copper wires for the electricity according to ohm's law the voltage at two different points of the wire is directly proportional to the flow of current in this conductor that means v proportional to i v equals to i r r is a resistance that is a proportionality constant so this is a constant for this wire with a particular length and area cross sectional area of the wire so the resistance can be defined as the resistivity of a material multiplied by the length of that wire and the cross sectional area of this wire so this resistivity is mainly the property of this material so the resistivity mainly defines the the tendency to oppose the flow of current in this material so this resistivity is different for different materials so based on the electronic properties the materials are divided into three parts conductors semiconductors and insulators in case of conductors the tendency to oppose the flow of current is very less that means the resistivity is very less it is nearly about 10 to the power of minus 4 to 10 to the power of minus 8 ohm meter but in case of semiconductors this resistivity is nearly about 10 to the power of 6 to 10 to the power of minus 2 ohm meter in case of insulator it is very high it is nearly about 10 to the power of 8 to 10 to the power of 18 ohm meter that means these insulators do not allow to flow of current in these materials but if you see the conductivity that is the reciprocal of this resistivity gives the conductivity so this conductivity is quite high in these conductors this is nearly about 10 to the power of 4 to 10 to the power of 8 siemens per meter in case of semiconductors the conductivity is nearly 10 to the power of minus 6 to 10 to the power of 2 siemens per meter in case of in insulators it is very less 10 to the power of minus 8 to 10 to the power of minus 18 siemens per meter so if you see why these conductors that conduct electricity the main reason is because of their free electron concentration the electron concentration electron concentration is denoted by n that is nearly about 10 to the power of 22 per centimeter cube so this electron concentration is very high in this materials so that conduct electricity so current is nothing but the flow of uh, electrons so the moment of electrons within the uh, material when you apply electric field and uh, one more thing is we need to know that if you see the band structure in these conductors the valency band and the conduction band are lies or overlap each other so some of the electrons are already in this conduction band this is a conduction band and this is a valency band so the all the electrons are in this conduction band and valency band so the density is nearly to the power of 22 per centimeter cube so because of this free electrons in the conduction band so they can easily move within this empty spaces in the conduction band so that will give you the conductivity that is very high in these conductors 
but in case of semiconductors if you take the semiconductor the band structure you know we have already discussed in the previous videos is the valency band and the conduction band so the energy gap between this valence band and conduction band is nearly 1.123 electron volts or you can say 0.723 electron volts so at 0 kelvin all the electrons are filled in this valency band but this conduction band is empty empty that means there are no electrons in the conduction band and this acts like a insulator insulator at 0 Kelvin but the moment you try to give the temperature or if you increase the temperature if the if you bring the temperature to 300 Kelvin some of the electrons can excite it to the conduction band because of the thermal agitation in the lattice so in case of if you take a silicon at room temperature the electron density is nearly 10 to the power of 10 per centimeter cube so the conductivity is is in between these conductors and insulators that's why the conductivity is nearly about 10 to the power of minus 6 to 10 to the power of 2 simon per meter but in case of insulators this energy band gap is quite high is a valence band and this is a conduction band so this energy gap is nearly 3 electron volts or above 3 electron volts so at 0 kelvin all the electrons are filled in this valency band there are no electrons in this conduction band even if you bring the temperature to 300 kelvin the electrons cannot move from valency band to the conduction band most of the electrons but only few electrons can move so the density is very less the electron concentration is very less in these insulators so but still they act like an insulator at room temperature so the glass wood all these are insulators that do not conduct electricity so if you see this resistance as a function of temperature in case of metals if you see the resistivity as a function of temperature at 0 kelvin this is 0 kelvin it has some residual resistivity so that is constant for a particular temperature up to let us say 50 kelvin okay it can be above that okay depending on the metal so this residual in a pure metal there are no impurities so there is no residual resistivity so it follows that the increment in the resistivity with the temperature but in case of is a pure metal but in a impure metal there is a residual resistivity that is mainly due to the impurities in the metal and then after increasing the temperature the resistivity increases this is in impure metals so why this uh, resistivity increases with the temperature because if you increase the temperature the lattice vibrates more so the electron can scatter with this lattice electron in this metal mainly moves in the lattice so this electron the if you increase the temperature the atoms can vibrate so the flow of electron can be opposed by this lattices as well as there is a electron electron scattering if you keep on increase the temperature so both contribution can come and that will increase the resistivity of the metal but in case of semiconductors 
if you see the resistivity as a function of temperature so at room 0 kelvin it acts like an insulator that means it has a high resistivity then after that if you increase the temperature the resistivity decreases with the temperature if you see here in case of semiconductors if you increase the temperature the electrons go from valency band to the conduction band so because of this increment in the electron density in conduction band that gives you the conductivity that means that decreases the resistivity of the semiconductors but in case of uh, insulators it also follows same like semiconductors so in case of insulator it also acts as a decrement in the resistivity but this decrement is very weak in comparison to the semiconductors so if you plot it all together so you can clearly understood in case of metal it is increases in case of semiconductors it is decreases in case of insulators it is decreases so this is in metals this is in semiconductors and this is in insulators so as you can see clearly this increment is not that much high in this metal only at higher temperature the resistivity increases more but in case of semiconductor insulator the resistivity decreases by exciting the electrons from the valency band to the conduction band so in this way the materials can be differentiated so based on this electronic properties the metals and semiconductors and insulators behave differently so i hope you understand about the difference between the metals semiconductor and insulators so next time we will see with the other discussion on semiconductors to see more videos like this and please consider subscribing